30 years, but police say they finally got their man and good thing it didn't happen any later. Officers say a sexual predator about to be released from prison was a match to DNA evidence in an unsolved murder. ABC Action News reporter Jake Peterson has a look at the big break in the case. 30 years ago, that's a long time. This picture shows the crime scene from the 1980s. Judith did not deserve this to happen to her. It's been a long time, but some officers remember the call like it was yesterday. In the summer of 88, a jogger found a woman's body here in a field next to Booker High School. Detectives quickly discovered that woman was murdered. Judith was the victim of an extremely violent homicide. Detective Anthony DeFrancesco recently reopened the case after advances in DNA technology. He submitted the evidence. Which revealed a match to the suspect. Detectives say without a doubt the DNA belongs to David Stevens. He lived across the street from Booker High in the 80s. Mr. Stevens in the original investigation was never on the radar. You're bringing closure and peace and healing to a family that suffered terribly. Judah's sister, Karen Aaron, says the family never gave up hope. She even made a silent promise to her little sister. Before I leave this world, you will see justice. Somehow it's going to happen. And now police say Stevens, who was about to be released from prison for another crime, may never see the light of day. And there will be healing and there will be justice for Judith Elaine Doherty. Reporting in Sarasota, Jake Peterson, ABC Action News.